after a long time so yesterday i was uh, going through my twitter feed and uh, what i noticed is this interesting stuff if you can see on this uh this is something called as a bionic reading uh, on the left side of the screen if you see there is a normal para right a reading as before and if you look at the right side of the screen it is a bionic version of that similar para so if you see and compare uh if you read this go through this paragraph the one on the left will take a lot of time uh, but if you go through the right side of the para it will be a faster uh, while you go through that so this is something called as a bionic reading which means uh, it highlights the starting characters of a word in a para and which enables the brain center to function in a faster way in a way that we can read the uh, word in a very efficient manner so this usually helps with uh, to this usually helps people uh, who are suffering from adhd and auti autism so uh, they find it uh, hard to read the paragraphs and other stuff so uh this is something interesting which helps usually help which will help them to you know go through the uh paragraphs of books which will help them so uh, also going through this uh, i got to know like this uh, when has posted uh, this tweet and i got to know like this pers this bionic reading is created by this renato casot so i went to this uh, his profile on twitter so if you see this is his profile he has created uh, this particular bionic reading concept uh, to my surprise i got to know like there is an api also he has created uh, using this api developers can uh, take advantage of this bionic reading so i thought of giving a try and using this api just to have a quick gist of how it works so in this particular video we will be using this particular api which is hosted on rapidapi.com and we'll convert the string or the text which will pass into a bionic version of it okay so this is the bionic reading uh, api so we'll be using this in python so over here i'll select the python and the type i'll select the request format so it generates a code over here so what i'll do i'll copy this code i'll be running this code in google collab I'll just paste this code over here the only thing we need to change is we need to pass a string right so we don't want to convert already given text so let's say i'll declare one variable over here like input string equals input the string to convert this looks good uh, so we'll pass this input string over here so what we'll do dot format string so what it will do uh, we'll pass the string to convert into into a bionic version of it and we are passing this uh, input string in this particular uh, payload variable okay let's run this code it's asking for a string to convert so i'll checking for conversion to bionic format enter so if you can see it has returned a response from the api okay so what i'll do i'll copy this particular response which we received from api into my vs code and i'll create a basic html file over here and i paste this code over here i'll save it somewhere on my desktop with uh, index.html save this is okay this looks good now i'll open this index.html
so if you can see the string which we passed like checking for string conversion into bionic format so it has converted this particular string which we entered over here into a bionic format and this response we received via api so this seems to be pretty cool stuff uh, which we can further explore uh, as per our need so there are further applications of this might be like you pass on the book uh, PDF format book uh, to this Python code and you convert the entire book into a bionic format so any person can read it fast maybe it will help the those suffering with ADHD and autism this is a very huge application of this particular API this API is very helpful and uh, this is something interesting I found yesterday so thought of giving it a try so yeah I hope you got a gist of uh, what is bionic reading and how the developers can use it utilize it uh, and I hope you found it helpful thanks thanks for watching till then take care